any debris. That story coming up in three minutes' time. But first, angered dock workers sacked by text messages and email have staged protests in Brisbane and Sydney overnight. Bob Carnegie from the Maritime Union of Australia joins us live from Brisbane. Uh, good morning to you, Bob. But tell us how this uh, message was delivered to your workers. Uh, good morning. At 11.30 on Thursday night, 41 of my members in Queensland were delivered by text messages and emails. Uh, the sack by Hutchison's Port Holdings, which is the uh, largest port container operator in the world. One in every ten containers on this earth goes across a Hutchison's Port container uh, terminal. Uh, but, however, as big as they are, if they think that they're going to get away with this, with this disgraceful attack upon trade unionism in this country, uh, they've got rocks in their head. So your experience is being echoed in Sydney as well by about 50 other workers, is that correct? That's absolutely correct. So w what is your bone of contention here? Uh, I mean, obviously it's, it's been a very rude way for your workers to be dismissed, but is there anything illegal about what's happened? Yeah, it's completely, as far as we're concerned, it's illegal. It's, uh, it's unfair. It's immoral. This world that we live in isn't just based on uh, the narrow interpretation of monster corporation law firms and monster corporation port tainer operators such as Hutchison. Lee Ka Shing, who owns Hutchison, is the 13th wealthiest person on the face of this planet. He's worth $43 billion. He makes James Packer look like he's poverty stricken. Now, if Mr. Lee Ka Shing and his Hutchison's port holding think that they can, can impose upon Australian workers the same conditions of work that they have for Hong Kong dock workers, where they work them 24 hours a day, where they have them urinating in buckets. If he thinks that he and his company are going to get away with the same type of operation in Australia, I will tell you this, is that we believe that the two million Australian trade unionists, we believe the Australian community, and we believe Australians as a whole will stand by us in our battle for a bit of justice and fairness in this world, and that's what we're about. So my, my, my members are hard-working, they do world's best practice, they're, they're men and women who are proud of their work and proud of their circumstances, and they are not going to be treated like so much, so much uh, refuse that they can be contacted at 11.30 at night by email and thrown to the dogs. That is not going to happen. My union, the community, the Australian trade union movement and every decent Australian is going to rally to this cause and fight what this transnational giant uh, is trying to do we, to just decent average Aussies. We, we take that point, Bob. Uh, so what does uh, this big force, uh, uh, you know, this huge conglomerate around the world uh, feel about uh, your reaction so far? What, what have you heard from management? Well, I, I, actually, the, 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 man, the Australian management team of, of HPH, uh, ha, I thought they had tetanus, meaning that I thought that they had lockjaw. They couldn't talk mm. because they, uh, they seemed to have become mutes. They've been, they've been very good at writing text mails and emails and attacking uh, decent, hard-working Aussies. But I can tell you this, is that we're prepared to sit down and, and mitigate these problems. But I, I will also tell you this, is that we're not going to lay down and let any corporation attempt to de-unionise and destroy 130 years of working class people's involvement on the Australian docks. So what movement no matter is there, who they are. What movement is there now at Hutchison Ports there? Because uh, you know, they obviously feel they can get on without these jobs. Um, but can you bring them to a halt? What, what's the situation? Well, well Mr Lee Car Sheng and his Australian management team are telling lies to the to the Australian media. Obviously, Mr. Lee Ka Shing and, and Hong Kong Sport Holdings here in Australia have actively gone to every other the other two major terminal operators and offloaded their business to them. Why would you do that if you're in business? Why would you go around? And this is long before, long before there was any uh, any dispute. They had made a plan that they were going to offload their business to other operators in Australia tell their long-standing ship owners who bring their vessels to, uh, to the port that they weren't going to do business anymore. Why would you do that if you're supposed to be 
a competitive business person in a in an environment such as the Port Tainer business. But it doesn't make sense unless you're trying to de-unionise your, your company and you're going to try to automate it without negotiation. And we will not accept that. But what does that mean, Bob? Are they going to be able to continue to trade or are you able to bring this to a halt? When we're not preventing them from doing anything. What I'm saying to you is that the company itself is, has, has made a commercial decision to put itself in a type of capital hibernation. And what we're trying to find out is why would a company do such a thing? Why? And there must be some, some other ulter ulterior motive for it. Lee Ka-shing didn't end up with $43 billion by being a dope. He got $43 billion by being a ruthless businessman. What we're saying to him and to his company is that they should sit down and talk about their problems to us instead of trying to act like some, uh, some tin pot dictator and trying to break my, uh, the spirit of my membership whose only crime, their only crime is that they hold a union ticket and they walk with pride as decent working class Australians. That, that's their only crime. All right, Bob, thank you very much for your time this morning and uh, we'll watch that protest with interest there. Yeah, more on this to come, I suspect, Cam. Thank you. Now, how the ice epidemic is putting our emergency room doctors and...